everyone welcome to video number three which is uh, does it work uh, as you can see from the outside and probably from the voiceover I've had to do a, a fresh set of audio because the wind was way too strong and uh, couldn't pick anything up but as you can see from the video the instruments are all in uh, if we move to the back first so the power arm has been fitted behind the seat and above the wheel box there we go all nice and neat mounted in there out the way with a USB cable running to the front bottom left if you can see along with the open Vario as well so two USB outputs in the bottom corner there so I can update the software. The open Vario screen right in the centre is still got the uh, protective film on it but um, I'll take that off in a second but uh, at least to keep it protected as best we can do all firing up and we've also got the Steefly joystick as well it's all fitted on there as well good sign the screen starting up which is good and then it will go through its uh, load up process and version 7 of XC saw uh, which is the latest release is on there so I put the altimeter immediately below and then the radio below that airspeed indicator to the left and the LX navigation era 80 to the right which I'll fire up in a second as well so that's fired up we've got uh, waiting for GPS fix on there so give that a second and then uh, it will locate where it is uh, the one thing I haven't recorded yet is I'm going to do on the future video is just to go through the open Vario settings and actually uh, customize it how I'd like to use it I've actually been using a handheld uh, device Android device over the winter linked into Condor just to uh, sort of test that I'm happy with the system and also the nav boxes and get everything working right but as you can see there the joysticks working lovely and needs a bit of a clean it's a bit dusty but uh, I'll give that a proper clean at the next visit uh, it was freezing cold at the time so I decided just to do a few things you could tell by the color of my hand there it was uh, very very cold uh, but excitement was uh, too great and I had to uh, have a look and uh, just get it working so that's all now working I can zoom in and see everything as I say I'm going to change all the nav boxes to the uh, the boxes that I actually want to start using and I'm sure in real life I'll start changing a few as well as we go along but uh, at least that's working right the background I'm going to change to more much of a lighter one that's got too much color on it so uh, when the uh, traffic and everything else comes along then uh, I think that screen will be a bit too cluttered so uh, so there we go no traffic because obviously part of lockdown is there's nothing nothing airborne in the area so uh, I'm sure it does work but I uh, couldn't test it at the time so the uh, era is booting up as well so that's a nice Vario there with the uh, full full electronic that's also got um, IGC uh, on it and it will have flam display as well so just setting the uh, altitude Q and H obviously you know what the Q and H is we're 500 feet above the uh, sea level uh, where our airfield is so enables me to get the right uh, pressure setting and then it just loads up the airspace airports and turn points and everything from its library and then then it's in so uh, that's now showing me a little bits of information as well so I've got actually got four nav boxes on that as well so uh, eight nav boxes on the open vario four nav boxes on the uh, era so a total of 12 different nav boxes really on that so then really just scrolling between each screen now showing me the traffic showing me a full screen uh, and then a, a screen with the nav boxes along the bottom you can create uh, I think it's about five or six more if you wanted to so moving on to the back um, done a great job of uh, making it nice and neat in there so everything's wired up nice and neatly and uh, shouldn't be any problems just need to locate the front antenna so that's the that's the glider so far back in its trailer and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video consider subscribing if you haven't already and thanks for your time thanks for watching see you next time